Good morning, Year 7s. I hope that you are really well. Um, for our lessons this week, we are going to be creating, describing, extracting information from and comparing population pyramids around the world. Um, in today's lesson, you are going to be creating for me a population pyramid using data that I'm going to give you for the UK. Um, in front of you, Hopefully, you can see the population pyramid that I have created. Um, this is for the Gambia. Um, I picked the Gambia because I don't want you to create this one and I wanted to show you um, a country that's completely different um, as my example today. Um, key things to know, first of all, what actually is a population pyramid? Well, a population pyramid shows you as a graph the population structure within a country. By population structure, I mean two things. Number one, males and females. The population structure divided into two genders, so males and females. I can now look at the data and compare and see, are there more males within the country? Are there more females within the country? Or actually is it dead on um, exactly split 50-50 down the middle? Secondly, the population structure refers to the different age groups within my country. So using the data that we've got today, our age groupings are zero to four, five to nine, 10 to 14, all the way up to the top here where I've got to age 80 plus. Every single bar on my graph here either represents whether your country, um, the people within your country are males or females, and it also represents an age group on the side here as well. One final really important piece of information you need to know about population pyramids is that with the data we are using, we are going to be using percentages. So I'm not talking about, oh, there's exactly 1.2 million people um, within the Gambia that are females aged 25 to 29. Um, I'm talking about the percentage. So it's 2%, it's 4%, it's 3.7%. Um, it's the percentage and not the total number. So please bear that in mind. Please remember that um, as you are using this data today. Um, this is my population pyramid for the Gambia and I'm going to show you how we're going to create one. Now, I don't know um, about you, but I don't have any graph paper at home. I'm using plain paper here and I've actually created a little... Um, kind of outline or, or, or scale, I guess, that I can use and that I have uploaded for you and you are able to use for your graph as well. Now, as a part of my population pyramid, remember that we had two halves. We had males on the left-hand side of the graph and we had females on the right-hand side of the graph. So the first thing I've done here is actually divide my graph into half and I split it down the middle here. I've put on little tabs for every centimetre, just because it makes it so much easier for me as I start creating my graph. I've already kind of got this here because I don't have any graph paper available. On the x-axis of my graph down here, this is going to represent the percentage of people within each age group within my total population. So I've got one line going off to the right-hand side, again, representing the females, one line going off to the left, representing the males. Now, I need to look at my raw data, which is here. I've created a population pyramid for the Gambia. Please ignore this one. You're going to do the UK for me in a short while. Um, now, first thing you need to do is look at the age groupings that you've got. And your age groupings here are going to go up the Y axis on the left hand side of your graph. I've already done this purely to save time and you're more than welcome to use kind of the template that I've created. Uh, the age groupings zero to four, five to nine, 10 to 14 should start at the bottom and go up your graph. Each one should sit within a one centimeter bar because this is basically a bar graph but we've just turned it sideways okay it's sitting within the bar 
Secondly, I want to look at the males and the total percentages, and I want to look at the females in order to make a decision about actually how kind of how big are my numbers going to be along the bottom here. Now, the largest percentage of males I can see is 9%. The largest percentage of females is also 9%. So I'm going to go to my graph here. I'm going to start uh, with my zero in the middle, and I'm going to start with my females on the right hand side. I often find it easier to start with the females because I'm working kind of as I would usually work creating graphs, whereas with the males we have to almost like flip it and do it in reverse, so I find it easier to do the females first. Starting at the bottom here then, I want 1%, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Remember that this represents the percentage in each age group. So the percentage in the age group. Now on the males, again, I do the same, but in reverse. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine percent. And on my y axis, this represents the age groups of different people. So how do I actually create my population pyramid? This is my outline, this is my template, this is what I'm using. How am I actually going to represent this data? Now I'm going to use my data, put it here, and I'm going to use the females before I do the males because the females are on the right hand side and I kind of create them like a normal graph um, and I don't really have to do that. that brain um, switching and, and trying to think of anything in reverse just yet. So I look at my females, ages 0 to 9, 9% 9 of the entire population of Gambia are females under the age of 4. 9%, that's a big number. So on my graph, age 0 to 4, on the females, 9%, all the way at the end here, are females. Then I want to look at the percentage age five to nine that are females and within the Gambia, I'll cross out females, zero to four. Within the Gambia, age five to nine, 7.2% of the entire population is age five to nine. So I go to age five to nine, whoops. And I look on here and I've done it so that every centimeter equates to every percentage. So 7.2%. 7.2 centimetres, and I draw my line down. It should represent 7.2. So now I've done that one. Females, age 10 to 14, 6.3% now. So age 10 to 14, 6.3%, 6.123. And I draw my line down. 6.3, perfect. Age 15 to 19, females, 5.5. And I keep going until I've done every single female on my graph. Now, when you come to plot the males, this is where it gets slightly trickier. Remember I said that we're doing this one in reverse. Um, you always start from the zero in the middle and it's a population pyramid. We start inwards and we go outwards here. So males, age zero to four. Again, we've got 9%. This is nice and easy. 9% and I draw my line. Males, age five to nine, 7.5% of the entire population is male age five to nine now this is trickier 7.5 percent is there uh, so i've done this really easy because every centimeter equates to every percentage 7.5 and i go down males age 10 to 14 6.7 percent 6.5 67 percent And I carry on until I complete my whole population pyramid. And I've actually already done this to save some time. My population pyramid will end up looking something like this. All males on the left-hand side of the graph in every single age group, or females on the right-hand side of the graph in every single age group also. Percentage in each age group is found along the bottom of the graph here. 
if I were to be given this population pyramid and I didn't create it myself, I could easily figure out what percentage of um, population are within each age group just by looking at the, the correct bar. So for example, if I wanted males age 30 to 35, I know that males are on the left. I find the bar that represents 30 to 34, sorry, which is this one. And I can use my ruler correct way to go down here and I can see that actually oh I mean what's that 3.2 percent males age 30 to 34 let's double check my data males 30 to 34 three percent as close as possible um, and I can see roughly where what percentage of people are, are within each age group and within each gender one thing that's also brilliant about population pyramids actually is that I can see really clear trends um, and I can actually see on this one here that there are so many more young people within this country in comparison to older people up here. Um, in fact, when I look at the males age 80 plus, it was zero. There's 0% there's of the population is male age 80 within this country at all. Um, if I were to compare that with males age 55 to 59, I've got over 1% now. So I can begin to see actually what the life expectancy is like within this country. Is it high, is it low? And if I were to have a second population pyramid, which I will because you're gonna create it for me, I can begin to make comparisons. This here is my finished population pyramid. I've shaded it in just so I can see the difference between males and females. Your task for me today, Year 7s, is to actually create your own population pyramid using the second set of data for the UK. So I have created this one. You can see this country here. You're going to create the UK for me. You're more than welcome to use this template that I've created and I've uploaded for you onto Google Classroom. Um, but we're going to be using these next lesson in order to make comparisons and kind of figure out what is what is going on and, and kind of assess how useful these population pyramids actually are. Um, best of luck, you know how to send me a message if, if needed um, and I look forward to seeing your completed population pyramids.